I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Catch the Golden Snitch. It's ages 8 and up, 3 to 4 players, and it takes 5 to 15 minutes to play. Let me show you how. The goal of the game is to get the most points. You get points by collecting uh, sets that you play down in front of you. Any card with a 3 at the top is part of a set, and if you collect 3 of them, you get to place them down in front of you, and that is worth 10 points at the end of the game. You also can get 15 points for catching the golden snitch, which ends the game. And then if you were the person that caught the golden snitch, any pair of seekers you have placed down on the table in front of you, you get an additional 10 points per pair of seekers that you have. Game setup. Each player is dealt 12 cards in a stack in front of them. From these 12 cards, they draw five cards, which is their starting hand. The remaining cards are put in two roughly equivalent stacks on either side of the center box. For game play, uh, you can only ever have a maximum of five cards in your hand. So if you play down a set, then you can draw back up to five cards from your personal draw pile. But if you're stuck or if you have to discard, you discard your cards face down directly next to your the clockwise, the next player over's draw pile. And if they run out of this stack of draw pile, your discard pile over here becomes their new draw pile. And sometimes there isn't a draw pile here to draw from, and that's what these center stacks are for. If there isn't a draw pile for you to draw from, you just draw from one of these center stacks. I've flipped everybody's hands face up so you can see what they're working with in the game. These are held in front of you where nobody can see them, but for this, we're going to have them face up so you can see. Uh, Gameplay occurs simultaneously for all players. It is some chaos. And uh, everyone is drawing and playing cards at the same time. And basically, the number on the card is how many you need to collect of that card in order to play it down. If you have a one, you can just play it down in front of you immediately. That is the keeper, which means you get the quaffle which means nobody can steal from you. However, if somebody else plays their keeper card down in front of them, then they get the quaffle and you are an open target again. Uh, I'm going to go to threes. Threes are pre pretty self-explanatory. If you have three of the same item, you've collected a set of them. That is worth 10 points at the end. And then this player, if they played those, they get to draw back up to five cards in their hand. Um, the twos are your more of your action cards. If you have a set of seekers, uh, you go ahead and play those down and those are only worth 10 points if you are the one to catch the golden snitch at the end. Uh, there are also chasers. If you get two chasers, uh, one doesn't count, so if this person would have to get another one, if they get two chasers, then you can steal a set from somebody else, but only if they do not have the quaffle in front of them. So if this person had two, they could steal this set and then put their set of chasers on top of it, and it can't be stolen again. And then the only other thing to take into account are the beaters. Uh, if you play down a set of those, you get to get a bludger, which has its own specific set of rules that goes along with it. If you play a pair of beaters, you get a bludger. And what you do then is you call out another player's name. We'll say this person calls out Nathan. And you lob it up, you toss it to that player who is supposed to swat it at another one of the other players, but not back at you. So if it's a three player game, they only have one option of who to try to swat it back to. Uh, if they are successful and they hit it over at this player and they got them, this player would have to discard all of their cards and start with five new cards in their hand. If they're not successful and they miss, then there's no penalty, but they have to go and hunt this down and put it back in and push the button down when they do so. Same thing for this player. If they managed to hit them and they had to discard their um, cards, they would run and go and get the bludger. And when they put it back in, they have to push the button down. And then that's what determines the end of the game. People keep on going. Once the bludgers, you keep on going and throwing the, uh, the bludgers at each other. You take them back, push down a button, 
And then after a random number of times of the bludger button being pushed down, the snitch pops up and whoever grabs it first gets the 15 bonus points for the snitch. And then if they have any sets of seekers down, they get 10 points per each one of those as well. And the game is over. So that's how to play Catch the Golden Snitch. It's a nice alternative to Throw Throw Burrito, and it is perfect for the Harry Potter fan in your life. So check it out. Thanks, and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.